Okay. I'm gonna level with you. I'm gonna just level with you. Okay. So yesterday, I told one of y'all that I was gonna uh, report on the Pokemon ru on rumors that was co um, coming out over the weekend. You know, there was a lot of rumors coming out left and right over the weekend. And, you know, I could not release that video. That video was so bad, so terrible. I could not release that video. If you listen to that video, and you still want that video, I'll release it unedited and everything. But if you really want that video, that, that video sounds so terrible. I sound like a nut job on that video. I was laughing uncontrollably, uncontrollably, uncontrollably. And I was also, um, you know, it sounded like I was making up a bunch of crap for rumors, for rumor video. But this is stuff I've seen on Twitter, Twitter and YouTube. But this crap right here, it was crazy. Not only that, I wanted to talk about Zero Aura as well yesterday, but I could not. So, instead of releasing that video, I decided to ignore it all the way. Now, if you still want that video, just let me know. Now, I post that video, you know. I'll still post it, but it won't be edited. I'm not going to put my time into that video. It's awful. It really sounds awful. But, you know, luckily this morning, I woke up at like 6 o'clock this morning. Because that's the time I usually get up there and get ready for work. Okay. This time... Your car watch was announced this morning. Like, literally, like, it was some hours beforehand, but I saw the news like at 6 o'clock when I woke up. Because I thought, like, if I go on Twitter, man, there's nothing popping on Twitter right now, I can just back to sleep. So, Your car watch 4 has been officially announced for Switch. So, instead of posting that Pokemon video, I want to go ahead and give my opinions on something official. Your car watch, you know, and I'm going to give you my brief history with the folk, um, the, um, the IP and everything. I'm, I'm gonna give my uh, brief history, you know, the whole series. So, I wasn't really into Yokai Watch. You know, when I first heard about it, man, I was in fear of Pokemon, where Pokemon where you finally lose that dominance that's been had over the um, Nintendo consoles that they helped in Nintendo since then. When I first saw Yokai Watch was excelling in Japan and all that stuff, I was saying, well, dang, they don't left Pokemon behind. And, you know, it was on the 3DS, so I said, okay, I can't get, get mad, you know, it was still Nintendo out here winning. But, you know, because of that, because of Pokemon, I'm looking at, you know, Yokai Watch as another beast of a, uh, of a series, you know, and, and, you know, when the game finally came over here in 2015, not only did I play through this whole game non-stop, but I also beat it, and I, I granted it my game of the year, because that's how good this game was to me. Granted, there was no real objective, but, you know, there was a story and all the other stuff, but what you can do... Outside of the main game, help people go around with the yokai, helping people out, doing other missions, you know, it was fun and it was great for its time. So when they brought the second game was over, and they said it was based it, it was based off the movie that was in Japan, they were bringing the movie over here too to tie in with the game, I was more ecstatic. I was more ecstatic because that's great news because you know, Yokai Watch doesn't line up with the um anime at all. It doesn't. Yeah, but you know, what it does present to you is a great game. So when I heard the news that uh, Yokai, 5, Yokai 4 was coming out over here, you know, on the Switch, I got real happy because guess what? That's new Yokai right there. It's time for a new Yokai game. They're giving us Yokai Watch 4. Not only this one, but the best thing about this one is it's based off the movie that's coming out over there. Where Yokai Watch 3 was falling in the timeline when Nate moved up the move. From Japan over to the United States to appeal to a more Western audience. Now, granted, Yokai Watch 1 and 2 both did well in Japan. Yokai Watch 3, though, did not. The spinoffs have been doing great because it sticks to the regular formula, but my god, <laughs> my boys, that game just flopped. Well, it didn't flop flop over there. It still sold like 1 million something units over there in Japan, but you know, it was catering towards a Western audience, which you know, it's going to be hard to do to Japan. So, with that, in mind, how everybody thought Yokai Watch was done. Um, the anime was like on a hiatus on Disney XD and stuff like that. But you know, they announcing this, say they got more faith in the Yokai brand than they do. So Yokai Watch coming on the Switch, the fourth entry into the series, is really huge news for Nintendo. Not only that, they're basing it off the more grittier movie that's coming out called Yokai like Yokai Watch Shadow. Shadow Side uh, is another subtitle to the um, movie. We got two stupid um, subtitles 
I think Return of the Army King or something like that. But you know, it's more grittier and more, you know, it's it's still got that comedy that Yokai is known for. It's more grittier. It's more, how can I say, haunting looking than most they make all these all these cute little yokai right here have a haunting look to them now. You know, they look more like their actual yokai counterparts now, their alpha yokai. So that was more adult and they, and they maintained a more anime look to it. So when they, when I heard skills come out and we based off this game, I had to go research the trailer for it. And the trailer was awesome and it was beautiful. And you know, it still gave off yokai. This is still yokai watch. You know, everything still looks like in Yokai Watch style, you know. You know, they just gave Jabanya a little bit more darker tone to his um to his character. You know, they made whisp and whispers into a, like a actual freaking ghost butler and his um they gave him like a, a little creepy smile. And the best thing of all is yo the main character Nate and his um friend Katie, they actually get married. So if you was a Nate and Katie's um shipper more power to you guys you, you got what you want they actually have a daughter in this time like this is a this game takes place 30 years after the original yokai watch so nick is older he cannot no longer talk to yokai but he knows about them so the fact that they're using his daughter this time is very awesome you know and this time he's got three friends that all know about the yokai they all have yokai watches and all that stuff so this will be i can't wait for this game to come out and if this is part of nintendo e3 That'd be a blessing, man. So when did this game, when can we expect this game to come out? Okay, so it's coming out this year, but where <laughs> this year? It should yeah, most likely it'll be in Japan for like a couple months, then 2019 release before Pokemon gets out. And you know, that'll be a big thing, you know. A Pokemon release this year. If Pokemon released this year while Yokai Watch is in Japan, that'd be great for the Western audience. That'll be great because they get that Pokemon this year, and then when Yokai Watch comes out, it won't have that much effect over there. So, with Yokai Watch coming to the Switch, I am so excited for this game. I'm so happy that Yokai is back on track. We're getting to the fourth game, and they're doing it on a much more grander basis, man. It's like when I'm looking at this video, video in this um, this trailer of the movie, it was like more combat or oriented because in Yokai Watch, you more likely just manage your Yokai more than you know that you actually battle with him you like it's real-time battle strategy you manage your yokai while they fight so basically that's the point of yokai but the gameplay was so fun and so different that you just got to play a yokai watch game to understand it so anywho that's what all i got to say man i'm gonna wrap up this video again let me know if you still want to see that pokemon video because i'm not going to edit it out i'm just going to upload it and you're going to see it i sound like a madman i was laughing a lot i was cursing a lot it's just a terrible video all around. I'm not going to erase it, but anywho, I'm out of here. Deuces.